Okay. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make a uh, white noise sweep in Logic, and I'm gonna play for you right now and show you exactly what we're gonna be learning, and that's this guy right here. Okay, I'll play it uh, by itself so you can hear what it sounds like by itself. Okay, that's what uh, I'm going to show you how to make that right now. So we can go ahead and make a new track, new software instrument track, and then go to your instruments and pick the ES2 synthesizer 2 stereo, and you're going to go up to this list right here, down to tutorial settings, and come up to here where it says analog saw init, click that. Turn the first oscillator off, turn the third oscillator on. Bring the dial down to noise. Bring the triangle down to right here to 100% on oscillator 3. And you're good there. Then you go here and add an auto filter. Just close that out. Uh, you know what? Open auto filter and up the resonance to about 20. Then you go to reverb, space designer, and you want to add a lot of reverb. Put the max all the way up. And length of time. I like a long noise sweep, so I'm going to put it on 12 and see how that sounds. So now you're ready to add your white noise sweep to your song. Um, draw right now right there it said uh, that reverb sounds a little long so uh, I'll fix that later but now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down you're gonna click the automation uh, thing right there and come to this drop down menu to the auto filter and then go to cut off and then you're gonna Click both sides to make those points, both sides of your region, and you're going to do this. Make it like uh, look like that. And you're going to go to the Automation Curve tool, and you're going give it to give it a nice bend for a more realistic feeling. And to do that, all I did was hold the Command key down, so it shows the second tool you have here selected. And then I clicked on this line, and you can drag it to make it and shape it like that. So let's see what it sounds like now. Shit. All right. Uh, so that is your white noise sweep um, right there, and I can show you a little trick you can do uh, with this style of noise sweep. And this is I don't hear I don't hear it a lot in other songs, but shit, I'm turning that reverb off for now. But this uh, it's like a cool trick I learned. Kind of makes it a stuttering or whatever you want to call it, noise sweep. Um, 
Now this is just a basic stutter. You can put those little, you can put the events in any kind of uh, order you want them in and make it sound cool, but I'll show you what this sounds like. So you can get creative with that however you want to and I'll show you another I'll, sh I'll do another pattern to show you like what kind of things you can do with this I do this I do this one a lot actually there it is The reason I'm shortening those the length of those notes is so you can hear it hitting every time it hits. Shit. All right, cool. So I'm gonna just delete all of those. Shit. Yeah, that sounds good. This here. And you can see when you edit the auto filter cutoff, it sounds like this. So let's put the reverb on it and hear what it sounds like. And shorten the length of time on the reverb for this kind of. So yeah, that's what that sounds like. Um, and you can you can play with this so many ways. You can, uh, whoops, if you want an Eric Pritz style uh, white noise sweep, even you can do this and really mess around with the auto filter. This is what he does a lot. This is what his will sound like. So you can see that sounded pretty cool. Um, and so that's basically what I have for you. Uh, white noise suite made in Logic with auto filter and reverb. Thank you for watching.